defense coming to meet them so they can meet who they're going to go work for, meet who they'll do internships for, and get to know them a little bit better. Well, that's great. Um, uh, 200 employers, or these would be 200 scientists, uh, engineers, and various DOD facilities. Then. Absolutely, yes. Yeah. And some senior managers, they're uh, very interested to come out and see what the program's all about. And we also use this as an opportunity to bring uh, new people in from the Defense Department who haven't, aren't as aware of the program and get them acclimated to it. And uh, when people find out about it, they become big supporters. As, as part of the showcase, um, you've arranged a, a, a pretty impressive display of Department of Defense technologies uh, coming up. What are some of the aspects of your showcase for this orientation program? Um, well, we have a, a Navy um, ship, the USS Mobile, um, Mobile Bay, who will be coming into um, port on Saturday. And we also have some static displays at the, air, at the airports. We have an F-16 and an AWACS and some other um, aircraft, like helicopters. And then about 50 tabletop-type displays, robots and other equipment that the civilian science and engineering workforce of the Department of Defense has really developed. And so we like to showcase that, and we like to get people excited about what these opportunities are. Now, people in the community will see the Navy ship anchored out, but it will not be open for public visiting uh, during no, this time. No, not this time. Yeah. Um, they probably won't see the aircraft. They'll be tucked away in a location uh, at the airfield, but the, the ship will be very visible. Um, so, uh, if listeners and viewers are interested in learning a little bit more about the SMART program, SMART application round that you mentioned begins mm -hmm. in, in August, uh, do they just go to the website and start there? They should start at our website, and the website has some other contact information for people at the American Society for Engineering Education who help us vet our applications. And they would start there, and we would help them get through the process. Yeah, again, the website is www.asee.org slash smart, S-M-A-R-T. So that's really the best way. And John, just as you were a little surprised at the number of jobs out there in this area, in the defense science and technology area, uh, many students didn't even know they existed at all. They uh, are kind of shocked they didn't know the Defense Department had all these labs. Many of the faculty do, but the students don't. So one of the great things about this program is it kind of uh, opens people's eyes to these opportunities, even if they're not you know, wanting to do the SMART program. They know these jobs are available and some of these uh, really fantastic research facilities, uh, biggest computers in the world, best water uh, tanks for testing ship hulls, uh, best radar facilities, uh, you know, DARPA, which is part of the Defense Department research. They really did invent the Internet, and so just a lot of exciting jobs out there in the defense science and technology area for young people who, you know, really want to work with the the world's best facilities and some of the world's brightest people. With genuinely good spin-offs into the public sector from some of the great work done in the defense laboratories. Um, Knox and Deborah, thanks for being guests on the Your Town program tonight. I look forward to uh, seeing a little bit more of the students around campus this week. They really provide a nice energy to the NPS campus while they're here and uh, look forward to seeing the USS Mobile Bay come into, into the harbor uh, on Saturday. Stay tuned because we'll be meeting two local Navy League leaders who are involved in helping uh, with the port visit of the Mobile Bay.